Jojo has fun. We can customize the game to turn off toilet humor or horrible people. Nah, we're not doing that. But Damien's B costume, I'm going to move it from sexy to super sexy. Yeah, that's right. Let's hope we find it. I'm going to hit play. Uh, I'll make my own voice effects. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Monster Camp, our favorite game. <laughs> it's our absolute favorite game. Um, how many of us are there? There's three of us. Yeah. That's how many there are. We have a special guest with us here today. Hello. Yeah, uh, the voice of Ren Steffens from hit <laughs> podcast, The Rolls We Made, get hyped. <laughs> M.A.E. What up, y'all? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Is that Ren from the D&D podcast, <laughs> The Rolls is. We Made? I love it. I think I'm just going to stick in character for this <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ah, Camp Spooky, the stage of some of our dearest summers back when we were young and unafraid. With school far away, everything seemed possible, and the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. Uh, it's like life could take a turn at every corner. Sheepers, creepers. I know it's bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> and for us, it did. Uh, uh, I don't know who you want to be. I want to be... Um, the guy sleeping. Okay. Can I be a man? Zomboy. Zomboy. Okay? Yeah. What do you want his name to be? Uh, Brian. Brian's good. And pronoun. He. All righty. <laughs> she. <laughs> uh, what do you want to? What do you want your equips to be? There's like... a vampire sun hat, a Rubik's cube, a penguin mask. I want the. The Sword of Roar, King of Lions. Yes. That seems like a Thundercats reference. Oh, yeah, that's some boldness. Um, uh, some spaghetti. I'm going to take that box of spaghetti. Pasta. Yeah. There's some business anal paste. <laughs> Is that what that says? <laughs> yeah, business anal paste. There's yep. some coloring Hawa a coloring Hawaiian shirt. Oh, that seems like a good idea. Sock puppet. A Philosopher's Stone growing kit. I want the, s the anal paste. You, that I, was smart and charm. Yeah, you had to come back around to the anal paste. Once you put some thought into it, you were like, you know what? I am out of anal paste. Who are you, who are you gonna be, Jeff? Um, I would like to be. I want to be Frankie. All right. Uh, name. Let's just do. Let's. You know what? Make her Frankie. Let's make it. Let's make it real. We just call uh, her Frankie. Uh, Lowercase. Make it look good. Okay. Come on, be real. Yeah, be real. Uh, this is school. R a if you don't put your name in today's date at the top of your paper, it's going to get an F. Okay. <laughs> I never understood I -E? that. No, I -E. just, with yeah. a, just with an I. Yeah. Oh, with an I. Oh, I like that. Man. Yeah. This That's is why good. You me on. Oh, man. Why did we Frankie. never think of that? You know, when she signs it, she puts a little heart up there. She does. <laughs> um, they. Uh, okay. Sweet. All yeah. right. Damn it. The sock puppet's gone. I, I really know, wanted we it. We can't get oh, everything sorry. every time. Uh, well, you didn't hit the sock puppet, Emma, but now it's gone oh, from the sketchbook, game. Sketchbook, spooky campfire stories, hipster costume. What's the album? M I want MC the, Griffin. I want MC Griffin EP. That All makes right. me cool. No, it doesn't. It makes me fun. Um, Hard tack. I don't know what that uh, is. Shades that are on fire. <laughs> Give me the shades that are on fire. Hell All yeah. Right. That's bold and charm. And... Um, <laughs> Oh, I didn't even see what the, they gave me when I picked anal paste. What I was think it? it gave you charm and smart. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. As, as well as should. Yeah. What's, what's the bottomest right? Uh, that's a sketchbook. I get that one. I'll be creative. Yeah. It's just double creative. Um, okay. Now it is my turn and I will be my girl. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to name her uh, Jojo. <laughs> Jojo, yeah. But I'll do it like this so it's fun. Oh, caps. It's cute that way. <laughs> uh, she's fine. And I'll hit okay. I'm going to equip myself with the fake noble title, which gave me charm that too. I will pick the coral comb. And I will pick the... Hard tack. <laughs> yeah, hard tack. <laughs> That's a good one. So I'm extra charming. One might say that Monster Prom had hardened us on the highs and lows of love. But no, in love, <laughs> we're always absolute beginners, and summer camp was no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of a summer love loomed over our heads. Of course. Of course it does. I've never had a summer love. Close to the last day of <laughs> camp, there was a meteor shower just two weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Oh, no. Everything seemed uncertain. <laughs> Everything but one thing. So 
but <laughs> we are going to have to pick one of these people. Um, number one, Joy Johnson Jojima, a badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. She's my favorite. Like Aravi <laughs> Mishra, a hot headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. Calcul Lester Hewitt Packard, version oh, 1.1. found him. He's the best. <laughs> a library That's computer. That's why I got that paste, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Metal. Uh, who had become a sentient robot, ready to experience life to the fullest. Dahlia Aquino, a buff blue demon and warmonger Ooh, who had okay. set her sights on conquering summer next. Is it Aquino or Aquino? I say Aquino. Damien <laughs> LeVay, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. And Milo Belladonna. Uh, I do it again. <laughs> he did the Milo. I, it sounds nicer to say Milo. Uh, a death reaper doubling as an internet influencer and who is profoundly in love with life and all its earthly pleasures. I just like the movie Milo and Stitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Milo and Stitch. Milo and Stitch <laughs> is a good film. The bus trip was long and all summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. Again, this is like mouth poison yeah. to say. <laughs> and so it was clear. It all came down. Uh, to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Oh my god. Don't goodness. fart on the bus. So, uh, what do you want to do this? Uh, what? But do something unexpected on the bus, Brian. I'm going to do something. Oh, let me see. Play dead. Well, I feel like he was already playing dead just with his pick. Yeah. Um, Start a fire. Make sure the bus is happy. Play dead. Ride the bus to victory. Perform a magic trick or just press the skip button until the shit starts. <laughs> uh, I like that. You want to do that one? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I would like to, if, if we're going to be in character from our D&D podcast, I will perform a magic trick. That sounds right. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to ride the bus to victory. Damn. So that, so you're going for a Ravi? Oh. You could go for somebody else, but this is just your initial, yep. like. What? <laughs> you're not going to skip my dialogue, are you? I'm the protagonist. Oh, God. No, the protagonist of what, Ravi? The bus ride to camp? <laughs> Yeah, I'm the protagonist, wherever I go. And all of you should pay attention to me. I don't want this, bitch. I don't want her <laughs> You better not be skipping my words right now, Brian, because <laughs> I've got a lot to say to you. Yeah, forget it. Even if he is, we'll see him as soon as we get to camp. <laughs> I like him. Uh, oh, hey. Ooh. Yay. Okay, Emma, do you want to roll Let out? Let joy. Uh, are you? <laughs> Jesus Christ! How did they know? How the doing... fuck did they know? Are you doing sleight of hand magic, Frankie? Not bad. I've considered going the entertainment route with my magic before. If I ever retire from saving the world, <laughs> <laughs> it may never happen. But maybe you'd like to be my lovely assistant if it ever I pans would. out. I would. We can practice more magic together at camp and see if it's a good thing. It will be. <laughs> I have handkerchiefs. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Joe, do you want to be uh, Dahlia? <laughs> uh, you're not allowed to be your own crush. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll, I can be Dahlia. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> wait. Are we riding to victory right now? I thought we were on to summer vacation. <laughs> I admire your resolve, Jojo. War never sleeps. And there are always victories to be taken. Oh, shit. You've opened my eyes. We shall ride this bus into our destinies. And when we reach camp, we will have our spoils. She's, She's so talking dumb about... and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Just what the spoils are still remains to be seen, I guess. But, but a war conqueror never doubts herself. <laughs> See you at camp, fellow soldier. Uh... Hell yes. We only had two weeks left to woo our crushes <laughs> and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid and ready to start. My voice is gonna be gone by the end of this episode. That's why episode. you just do the same voice, That's man. Right. That was one character. <laughs> Time to yep. load up these still images. There All we go. All right, where do you want to go first? I want to go um, to the lake. Okay. That day at the lake, you start a super soaker fight that turns into an all-out war. The enemy team manages to capture the northern section of the lake, but you take a few of their members hostage and learn their empire's weaknesses. You lead a full-scale infiltration. Thousands of soldiers get totally soaked, TM. It's a bloodbath. And after several <laughs> hours, the enemy team surrenders, and you gain two fun from the peace treaty. Cool. Yay. Yeah. You meet Aravi and Hex yeah. afterwards for some yoga and are shocked to discover that it is actually yoga. Dang it, man. What did I bring this anal paste for? <laughs> Namaste, Brian. I saw a two-minute yoga video on Instagram, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. Did you know it involves breathing? 
How exotic. At first, I was pissed at Hex for making me do this, but I'm actually super into it. I'm going to get so fucking relaxed, my head will explode. <gasps> Did someone say sausages? <laughs> no. Nobody said sausages. It's okay, Scott. One of these days, some of them will have said sausages. They'll be sorry. Thanks, Polly. <laughs> well, if you guys are talking about sausages, what are you doing? I'm really glad these two just showed yeah, up. Right yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love them. It's Scott Howell and Polly Geist. <laughs> We're doing yoga. I even found a pose that's perfect for you. It's called Upward Facing Dog. I bet you Polly's going to come back with something dirty. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, we all know about Up Dog. <laughs> 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 and its evil twin, Downward Facing Dog. We're yoga masters with an S. Really? You guys know about yoga? Is that why you're so relaxed all the time? Yeah, that's why I'm so relaxed all the time. And for no other reason, we discovered yoga a while back and found it kind of underwhelming. But we stuck with it and made it better. And now we can probably say we're the best yogists in the world. Psst, Polly, I think it's yoga zoids. <laughs> Come on, no way are you guys yoga experts. You're right, because we're yoga masters, duh, and no one's ever going <laughs> to beat our yoga high score. High score, you say? Uh -oh. 200,000 yoga points in a single session. It's unbeatable. No, nothing's unbeatable. I just need the right strategy. But okay, I don't want to fuck this chick. She's too much. <laughs> she's cute. Is that come the, is come that, on, she's is cute. Is that the goal of the she's got a She's got a punky Brewster, like, Pippi Longstocking vibe to Okay, her. okay. And she's got her cool roommate, this curse. I mean, you can say <laughs> negative answers and try to hook up with other people, but, you know. But uh, you want to do well in these events, just oh, to get okay, laid. Okay, okay. Yeah. So yoga, yoga pants are all well and good. Laid. But to be a true yoga zone, you need a set of legendary yoga armor. Or the key to yoga is a sequence of poses, specifically up dog, up dog, down dog, down dog, left dog, right, <laughs> right dog, dog, left dog, right dog, dog, right dog, she dog, a dog, start. Uh, I gotta say, the green color with that text on top is poison to my. It's very it's kind of poison to my eyes. Um, do, 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 do. is the second one right? Well, it's it's based on your stats. So this one sounds smart or creative. This one sounds maybe bold. And which one? What are my? Your stats? boldness is eight, and your smarts is six, and creativity is three. So I mean, like, so I'd go with the top one. Well, I, I, Jojo could be talking out of his ass. I don't on know. What I don't know. This game is new. I bet. I bet it, well, if we're staying in our D and D characters, I'm gonna go for armor. Okay. Okay. Right. I feel like Aravi would like armor. Aravi's into armor, so let's let's see it. Fingers crossed. Come on. Oh, so so bold. bold. Legendary yoga armor. I had no idea such a thing existed. You looted a set from your last bloody raid on Lululemon, <laughs> but never wore it because fuck exercise. <laughs> Whoa, she got this yoga breastplate, plus we're into breathing in and breathing out. And these yoga greaves, plus 32 flexibility when flanking an enemy. Ooh, of yeah. course, let's not forget about the boots of yoga, plus 50 to kicking someone in the face so hard their head explodes meditatively. Thank you for the armor, Brian. I'm about to use it to kick some tranquil ass. Nice. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Aravi dons the yoga armor and proceeds to bust the most insane series of yoga poses you've ever seen. W what? I don't believe it. Her yoga level, it's over 9,000. <laughs> Aravi yoga so hard, she beats yoga and starts over with <laughs> Yoga Plus, which she also beats. It turns out Yoga Plus is just yoga with more twerking, but you're not complaining. <laughs> Upon completing Yoga Plus, Aravi's eyes begin to glow with an unearthly light, and she floats off the ground. No, it can't be. Whee! I have achieved nirvana. <laughs> the world of attachment no longer has any hold on me. I am free from the wheel of samsara, which binds us to the cycle of suffering. Hey, that gives me plus 10 to my wisdom stats. Sick. I'm going to use it to learn a fire spell. Whew. Looks like Aravi's not totally free of the world of attachment after all, which is good because you sort of think that I might be attached to oh. you. You gain two fun and one boldness. Cool. Congratulations. Yeah. Good job, Emma. Uh, Thanks. I want to go to the manor. A manor. Manor. That day, you explore the haunted manor's basement, only to find it has a sub-basement. The sub-basement is full of haunted chains and a staircase to a sub-sub-basement. The sub-sub-basement is a haunted wine cellar. 
The sub 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 basement is a haunted nightclub for ghosts who don't like wine. They serve haunted spirits. <laughs> <laughs> the sub basement to the tenth power is a subway. You eat a foot long room and it continue your travels. You eventually check a lock there and find the haunted manor. Co- Did I write this? Yeah. This is the dumb kind of shit I would do. The manor can spawn an infinite amount of sub basements. You only make it as far as the 89th level, which you dom sub leather room, and you gain plus two bonus from the horrors you witness there. It's basically Hades. You link up with joy, <gasps> hoping to catch the Ooh, tingles down means... your spine and in your genitals. Hell yeah, I do. I can't believe people are scared of this place. What are they afraid of? The bats? <laughs> uh, I was waiting for you guys to laugh. Okay. Uh, these are fruit bats. Is anybody at camp a secret mango or something? <laughs> I like her. Anyway, I need some help with a ritual. Take off your poo. Okay. <laughs> Take off your clothes and stand in the middle of that circle of blood. You hesitate for a moment, but you have to admit, this isn't the weirdest hookup you've ever had. What? Tell me more. Oh, damn, who dis? <laughs> Sorry, did someone say hookup? Because I'm here to hook you up. With some murder. Oh, <laughs> excuse me? I was about to do some magic to add some real scares. Wait, sorry. Real scares into this mansion, although I guess your appearance already helped with that. Oh, he's, he's the camp slasher. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. He's got a oh, Jason. Oh, man, you're a witch and everything. This is too freaking good. Sorry. Let me explain. As you can see, I'm highly rated on the victim finding app murder. Uh, Jerry Jerry S five stars so I work hard to maintain that and since you dabble in the occult and have sexy flings with one or more monsters hey you're a top candidate for getting mercilessly stabbed to death in a spooky house I find the slut shaming shaming implications of that to be highly fucking irritating sure but I can't argue with murder's algorithm not only is there surge pricing on murders right now but there's a triple bonus for killing a promiscuous witch in a haunted house (laughs) who's even ordering these murders. I already read it, though. Oh, okay. And I'm not doing it again. Oh, that's no. Right. <laughs> Who knows? All I know is my apartment isn't re- my apartment isn't rent controlled. I keep getting bed bugs, and I'm saving up for an original butcher knife that John Wayne Gacy once breathed on. I gotta make money somehow. Wow. Have you ever considered not buying the Gracie knife? Never. Killing you is much easier than evaluating my impulse spending habits. Now, show me your I'm about to get brutally stabbed face. Oh, damn. Same as my old face. You're hardly one to judge someone for their spending habits. I mean, you blew your hard-earned money on a summer-themed dating sim. Hey. Whatever. But at the same time, <laughs> you'd rather Joy not be a murder victim, lest that murder your chances of making her your summer honey, which it inherently would. They keep saying summer honey. I like, and I, I like, I that. like summer honey. <laughs> yeah, I, I like summer honey. <laughs> Think of a way for Jerry to earn that sweet coin without killing your sweet witch and earn Joy's respect by helping this poor, exploited murderer achieve financial freedom. Oh, this is going to be a toughie. Man, this is... Try Patreon. <laughs> Crowdfunding has helped many people reduce their dependence on murder or your skills are too valuably wasted on the front lines. Share your... What's that? Wisdom. Wisdom by becoming a murder consultant. So the Ooh. second one seems like smarts. Which I don't think I have. I, I feel like Patreon is a pretty bold and pretty creative yeah, platform. Yeah, I'm going to say probably Patreon. Patreon, Patreon it is. Patreon it is. Get it. Oh, not so. That's the smarts? Fuck. Uh-huh. Frankie is right. <laughs> I hear that at least 70% of people on Patreon aren't murderers. <laughs> <laughs> huh. But how many of them are completely financially stable based solely on Patreon? Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Dang, that's not good. Well, statistics show that everyone who has received money on Patreon has received money on Patreon. Wow, that's a pretty great record. Can't argue with those numbers. Let's make me a Patreon. Now I feel bad. You thank Satan for his lies of omission and help Jerry set up his Patreon and design his reward tiers. All right, so... Where's all that sweet, sweet Patreon money? Shouldn't it be rolling in by now? Um, well, you're, <laughs> wait, you're really highly rated on that murder app. Would people there want to be your backers? Nah, because I murdered all of them. <laughs> Not just the victims, though. I mean, what about the people who commissioned you? Yeah, no, I circle back around and murder them, too. Anyone who's ever contracted me on that map is super dead. We may have a problem. Oh, look, I have my first backer. Sweet. And they signed up for the 5000 a month tier. Hey, that's a really decent amount. What? It's my mom. Ah, oh, that's sweet that she's willing to support you in your... No, I hate my mom. She's the reason I started murdering in the first place. Uh, the level she pledged at gives you access to some detailed personal critiques of my social and career choices each month. Ah, I guess the only way to win my mom's approval and give her money's worth is to do maximum possible murders. You and Joy are forced to flee in terror. 
In doing so, you split up, because that always works so well in horror movies. You both survive, but in the process, you've lost minus two boldness, uh. minus one fun, and minus one opportunity to make joy <laughs> your summer honey. I wanted to make her my summer honey. I am going to go to the Camp Dome. The Dome. That day, a fun and zany scavenger hunt awaits you in the Camp Dome. Last night, the counselors stole your organs while you were asleep, and you're here to solve the scavenger hunt clues to get them back. Is that fun? No. Too bad. You make the best of the situation by stealing your hotter friend's organs in place of your own. You gain plus 10 evil from Dimitri's liver. You also find a very strange gland, and against common sense, you shove it up your nose. It secretes two charm. Gross. I love it. <laughs> ah, capture the flag. Truly, the dodgeball of Camp Spooky. Oh, God. All right, Team Blue. Who's ready to go hard and crush Team Red into the ground? Where they belong. I'm ready to support my team, friend Dahlia. <laughs> Doing it for the gram. <laughs> okay, pregame selfie time. Not to be confused with mid or postgame selfies. Everyone say Team Blue. Team Blue. Wait, friend Team Blue. Look in the background of this selfie behind us. They are stealing our flag. Is that? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Who's this? Oh, my. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Oh, shoot. Looks like you caught me. <laughs> That's right. Team Red will be crushed into the ground where you belong. Wait, Batness doesn't seem <laughs> super concerned. Why doesn't Batness seem super concerned? Or maybe because I was only the diversion and a much deeper plan is already in motion. A plan you will never be able to stop. You see, Team Red has a mole hiding inside your team this entire time. Little would you fools have ever guessed. Soon you will suffer a great and painful betrayal. Right, Jojo? Wink. Um, Jojo, are you planning on betraying us? You try to jump in and defend yourself, but Batness is too fast. No, no, of course not. Hey, Jojo, are you ready for the ob the Ubel de Roske or <laughs> Ubel de Oscre? How do you say double cross in Pig Latin? Friends, Team Blue. It appears Batness is trying to get a secret <laughs> message to a possibly false friend, Jojo. Has Jojo really been pretending to be our friend all these years just to set up this betrayal and let Team Red capture our flag? Wouldn't that be a hell of a thing if it came out on this episode of Monster Camp? <laughs> okay, you haven't been friends with Dahlia for years, much less anticipating a capture the flag debacle. Time to clear your name before it's too late. Ooh, Ooh shit. This one's going to be toughy. I feel like the first one, because the second one is research your family tree and reveal your great-great-grandfather was one of the original Team Blue founders 150 years ago. That seems smart and terrible. Yeah. I think I'm going to do admit I'm in league with Batness, but only to pretend to double-cross Team Blue and really double-cross Team Red. It's a triple cross. Your oh, charm's shit. your only high stat, so oh, hopefully that's true. Oh, charm. dang it. That's so creative, creative, apparently, which you have five of. Yeah. Batness, is this true? Mm -hmm. Of course not. JoJo is just trying to hide her betrayal. Logical error. If friend Jojo were planning on betraying enemy Batness, then enemy Batness would be unaware of this plan and therefore unable to confirm or deny. Wow. Batness thought she was playing us, but she was the one being played the whole time. Bet she feels pretty stupid. No, no, all don't. Because Jojo was never in league with me at all. I made it all up to confuse you. So how could she triple cross me when she never even double crossed you? Hmm, sure she didn't. Sounds exactly <laughs> like what someone would say to save face after being triple crossed. I wasn't triple crossed. I was lying before. But enemy badness, since you have admitted to being a liar, how do we know that you are not lying now? Whoa, how deep does this rabbit hole go? Jojo is really a mastermind for... Pulling all this off, huh? Oh, God, someone get her a blanket. Yeah. Oh, you're like a cool, <laughs> undercover genius person. Oh, my God. <laughs> she is hot. Uh, yeah, you're a mastermind of espionage. Oh, great. Now Team Blue is more united front than ever. Screw this. I'm going to assassinate <laughs> the Chancellor. What is up with that face that know. it changed to? <laughs> <laughs> He looks like, what's that uh, on Adventure Time? Remember uh, Ricardio, the uh -huh. heart? Yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. face that it looks like. My analysis indicates that Batness was by far the strongest player on Team Red, and our victory is now all but assured. Lit. Victory selfie. Everyone say Team Blue, but this is the first time no Batness in the background. The picture turns out adorable, as does your victory. I mean, your victory isn't adorable. It's more of a slaughter. But as far as slaughters go, it's pretty adorable. Whatever. Just take your two boldness and one charm and go. 
I love Fatness. Hope they come back. Let's <laughs> trade places. Everyone choose a song. Say your song out loud before the other players click. Um, Cyclone. Uh, Sandstorm by Darude. Oh, <laughs> okay. wait. We have to pick a real song? Uh -huh. Wap. There we I go. Knew, I knew someone was going to throw Wap in there. Player <laughs> ideas. How bad of an idea it would be to send this song to Alien as an introduction to the human race. Ooh, wap. Wap's, wap's a good one. Wap's a good one to send. Yeah. Um, Get your so between. What's and your coat. Bad idea. So uh, I would not want to send Sandstorm to okay. Aliens. Yeah, that's true. Watch the music video, it's great. We're gonna get content ID for that one. Um let's go to the Scout Hak. Hak. That day the monster scouts hike around the camp, cleaning up litter to respect nature and stuff. Nobody but coach gives a damn about picking up trash, but it does quietly become a contest to become the coolest garbage. <laughs> some find used condoms Others find weirdly shaped fruit You somehow find a Rembrandt It's an original The mystery of how the Rembrandt Ended up here Will go on to trigger The most epic adventure You will all go on this summer But it won't happen on screen But you still gain Two creativity by looking at it It's so magnificent I'm pretty creative <laughs> Oh god damn it. Oh she's so cute <laughs> Afterwards you're hanging out With your number one Summer crush joy It's national fondly Reminisce upon the past day So she's flipping through The pics on her phone with you Ooh, <laughs> this was back from season three, right after we beat that murder spider. Faith looks so cute in this one. And look at that awesome Fleetwood Mac t-shirt I'm wearing. That t-shirt was so cool. It was vintage from the 78 tour. Stevie Nicks blessed it herself. Uh, whatever happened to that shirt? Did I sacrifice it to the goddess or something? Hmm. These are all things I can imagine Emma saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, these are all things I've said. Uh, <laughs> Oh, wait, I remember exactly where I left it. Fuck. <laughs> Joy makes a mysterious phone call. She starts asking about the Fleetwood Mac t-shirt, but the person on the other end of the line is obviously not being chill about it. Listen, ex what? Axorax? Axorax. Ooh, I like that it flows. Listen, Axorax, I know things ended badly between us, but can you please just give me back my Fleetwood Mac t-shirt? I specifically remember leaving it in your evil lair. Uh, I know you know which t-shirt I'm talking about. I didn't leave multiple t-shirts in your lair. No, there's definitely no need to discuss it in person. Do not portal here. Oh, he's going to portal here. Suddenly a magic <laughs> portal opens and an objectively sexy centipede person emerges and they are giving off palpably villainous vibes. Oh. Is this you? Oh, dang. Oh, j joy, baby. I've come to speak to you in person, just like you wanted me to. <laughs> you look as lovely as that day I wrapped you in my bug silk. If it doesn't work out with Joey, can I go with Axorax? <laughs> no, Axorax. I specifically said that I did not want to talk to you in person. You're doing that thing again where you gaslight me into spending time with you, <laughs> which is bullshit. <laughs> uh, Frankie, meet my ex, Axorax. <laughs> they're, uh, they're a magical evil centipede person I defeated back in season three. <clears throat> I know they look hot, but don't let your guard <laughs> down. They mind controlled everyone in Philadelphia and tried to make all the citizens jump into a pit of centipede venom. Oh, you make me sound so evil, Joy, but that's all in the past <laughs> now, Gorgeous. We're going to focus on the present, and this is a very important t-shirt debacle. Why don't we ditch this third wheel? You and I can go out for coffee and talk it over, or perhaps we can enjoy a romantic dinner. Do any restaurants around serve pre-chewed aphids? Ew. Ax or Ax, if I get one coffee with you, do you promise to immediately don't hand over the t-shirt? Show me the t-shirt right now before I waste my don't time. Don't get a coffee. It's a trap. Oh, yes. Let me check the inside of my carapace. Oh, silly me. I forgot to bring the shirt. I guess I'll have to keep hanging out until my portal spell recharges. I've told you so many times that I'm not okay with us hanging out because we always end up getting back together. It's a toxic cycle, but fuck it. I really want that t-shirt. Axorax is stressing out your potential thick god goth GF. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Unacceptable. Get that Fleetwood Mac t-shirt for joy by any means necessary. I need to kill this centipede person. Uh, call the police and send out an amber alert for a t-shirt. Axorax can't hide from the power of a vigilant community or set up a black market exclusively for buying and selling Joy's belongings. That, uh, I don't know. These are both real tough. Um, so I, I'm only okay on boldness and creativity. So I think it's a... This seems bold. I think it's a crap shoot for either. Yeah. Um, that's, that seems uh, like smarts, though, too. 
Well, but he's evil, so he would yeah. probably sell her shit on a black market. That's right? true. That's true. Call the police. He's he's a kind of a, a sleaze bag. Yeah. This guy. So, which what are we thinking? Top or top. bottom? Top. All I right. think top. Let's try top. I'm always Cross. a top, bro. <laughs> Cross your fingers. Please be good. Yes. So bold. Yeah, so bold. You're going to make Joy's dreams come true. Through the dark power <laughs> of supply and demand, you get to work right away on your illegal Joy-themed black market. A few hours later, the black market's up and running. Literally everything on sale was once owned or touched by Joy. It's super fucking creepy. <laughs> Disturbingly, it's also pretty popular. Turns out the coven has some dedicated fans and lots of magical beings want gently used witch items. Come get Joy's genuine authentic spell herbs found in her trash, screams one creepy salesman. I've got Joy's chapstick that she lost on a road trip. Buy or trade. Mmm, this dark market's a heaven on earth for a Joy connoisseur such as myself. Oh, she's sweating. I'm certain <laughs> there... I'm sure there shall be some uh, merchandise. I'm quite interested in acquiring. I think I think Alex or Axe is a bay. Is it okay? Yeah. They're they're sweating. No, not anymore. Uh, <laughs> luckily, I've got some very valuable joy paraphernalia. I didn't want to let go of this Fleetwood Mac T-shirt so soon, but I see something that really catches my eye. <laughs> yes, Axe Rack showed up just like you planned. You give the signal, and the cops bust into the place. They arrest everyone in sight for being a creep. No, you all misunderstand. I'm not a creep. I'm just a humble human centipede. You can always trust a human centipede. Oh, Lord. The police send the creeps <laughs> to creep jail and confiscate the items to return to Joy. Cops also tell Joy what a good job you did. Oh, thank you. Which is nice of them. Holy shit, this is amazing. Frankie, you got all of my stuff back. Look, there's my first spell book and that chapstick I love that lost in face car the road trip episode. And oh my goodness, the, my Fleetwood Mac t-shirt is here it is. Yes, I can still feel Stevie's powerful witch blessing radiating over me. Thanks a lot, Frankie. You were super chill about uh, my very clean centipede person X. Uh, you're pretty great, huh? I am pretty great. The mayor awards you <laughs> plus three smarts yes. as a reward for your outstanding work on Operation Black Market Creep Raid. You also made Joy super happy. Yay. My stats are all normalizing. I like it. Joe, Joe. I am going to go to the woods. <laughs> that day on a oh, hiking shit, trip. Oh, shit. You can cook marshmallows I, on your head. That's I know, nice. <laughs> badass. Uh, that day, you go on a hiking trip with a bunch of random campers. You live some weird adventures and share personal stories and secrets. You don't know their names, and they don't seem to have their own character models, but they reveal to you they're part of a different game, a survival resource managing one. It turns out they cannot perceive your character model. You go to the same camp, yet you're part of different games. <laughs> This is deeply strange and makes you reflect so much about your own existence that you gain two smarts out of it. It's kind of like Doki Doki. Yeah. They apparently gain plus 10 berries and two stamina, whatever that means. After that, you happen upon Dahlia messing around in front of her tent. Looks like she's surrounding it with bear traps and pictures of herself saying swipers no swiping. Oh, hey, Jojo. How are, how are you? Oh, damn it. Dahlia stepped in one of the bear traps while walking up to you. She yanks it off her foot and proceeds to mangle and take revenge no. on every last one of them. We think we know this one. That's so goofy. Is anyone else turned on right now? Uh, hello? I should, have kn <laughs> <laughs> I should have known these rusty little ankle biters would never work, but how else can I improve my fortress away from fortress? Jojo, maybe you can help me. As you know, I am an extremely accomplished monster scout, and the badges I've earned are arguably worth more than gold or love. Obviously, I can't <laughs> undercut my natural good looks by wearing them all at the same time. Well. <laughs> but I don't like storing them in my tent without any sort of defenses. There are monster scout badge thieves lurking around every corner, hiding in the shadows, always ready to steal badges. I feel like I'm uh, Batman from Batman Begins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's, Where's the trigger? <laughs> I need to be prepared. You kind of doubt that, but it's cute seeing Dahlia so passionate and worked up about something. In your silence, she goes back to punching the bear traps. Now's a good time to brainstorm. How can you fortify her tent to ward off badge thieves? This uh, one. This seems, uh, last time we did yeah. pick make a scarecrow, so I guess we'll but pick I, it, scatter very alluring thousand piece this puzzle. This will tell us if it is based on stats or if it is. Yeah, okay, you know. let's do it. This is a science. Oh, it's not. It is. Oh. <laughs> we did this before, and you chose the other one, and it was wrong, and now this one's wrong. What's real? Nothing is real in Monster Camp. You know that. <laughs> oh, that's a cool idea. I have a puzzle here, actually. I brought it to work. I brought it into work between attack waves mid-battle. I never thought it would be used as a tool of war itself. Everything comes full circle. You and Dahlia scatter the pieces. You suggest hiding in a nearby bush to see if anyone falls through a clever trap. Oh uh, yeah, let's let's do it. But first, I let's kiss. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty sure I see two pieces that go together. Let me just let me just join these real quick. 
Oh wait, there's there's two more here that fit. <laughs> uh, I, I think this is a corner piece. What, what what picture is this supposed to make, anyways? You try to pull Dahlia away, but she's completely enraptured by the puzzle, and you're pretty sure you hear footsteps behind you, but she won't look up. Stop distracting me, Jojo. I've almost found which piece this part belongs to. Wait, wait, is this is this a puzzle piece or is this just a warped piece of tree bark? You're a strong adversary, a thousand piece hibiscus puzzle for kids and teens, but Dolly Aquino <laughs> is stronger. If you won't fit together, I'll make you fit. Dahlia spends an excruciating long time solving, mangling up this puzzle. When she finishes, she finally looks up and sees that her tent has been robbed <laughs> while she was distracted. No! My precious badges. Was this your plan all along, Jojo? Damn it! I see it now. It was a tag team robbery, and you are the distraction. Thought you could defeat me with a puny puzzle. I'll show you a distraction with my fists. I don't hate that. But Bend over. <laughs> not a fist distraction. You hate those. You reach into your bag and pull out another puzzle and throw it on the ground in front of Dahlia before sprinting oh away. Oh, God, she'll never do Hey, you can't run away from me. As soon as I'm done putting together this picture of the Venetian Canals, I'll make you regret ever being born. You run like hell. You probably gave yourself an hour head start, but once Dahlia finishes that puzzle... She's not going to be happy with you. No. You lose two smarts and one charm. Fuck! Oh, my turn. <laughs> I'm not the monster this camp needs. Boldness and... Okay, where do I want to go? Uh, camp Dome. Nice. Today at Camp Dome, the game is seven <laughs> minutes in heaven extreme. <laughs> what? Ooh, fuck You volunteer yeah. yourself for tribute for your camp. You put on some lip balm ready for some hot kissing. <laughs> but you got the rules wrong. In seven minutes in heaven extreme... They straight up murder you, and you need to stay in literal heaven for seven minutes. What? They stab you repeatedly. You're sure going to hell, but no, heaven is beautiful. It's all you ever wanted. You want to stay, but they bring you back to life. Dang it. You are cheered up by your teammates, and you will never be the same after being taken from heaven. You do look more <laughs> heavenly, though, which translates to two charm. That was Ooh, dark. That's like that the time weird. that I tried yeah. to do uh, astral projection, and I got so scared that I was like, I can't know this side of reality. <laughs> Later, you stop by the dome to look for a can of Pringles you left there, but you accidentally get drafted uh -huh. into the dome battle royale, which happens every Tuesday. Dang it. The rules are simple. Join a team of three, lock the door to the dome, fight to the death. Sweet. 400 warriors have entered the camp dome today, and only three will leave alive. You will be one of those three, and hopefully you will find your Pringles. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Murder, baby! Eat my ass! <laughs> Luckily for you, you managed to get Damien and Aravi as your teammates. They're killing it, literally. These two seem to thrive in extreme violence. And stay down! God, fuck yes! I haven't killed two guys with the same crossbow bolt in a while. The trick is to line it up just right and aim for the eye socket. So sick. <laughs> <laughs> kind of unimaginative, you ask me. I just killed an entire team by eating them alive. Just me, a fork, and my fucking fists. <laughs> oh my god, I went through such an eating people so alive phase. Did you know that I'm just a normal human can survive someone? Wait, what the fuck? Did you know that a normal human can survive someone eating their face, but they'll die if you eat their brain? Damien, did you just call my no scope crossbow double kill headshot? unimaginative? Are you kidding me? I'm carrying this oh, team. Oh, shit, dog. Ooh. We're only in the diamond skill tier because of my Battle Rage massacre at the start of the game. That was a 12 kill streak. This changed tone yeah. very quickly. Yeah. Bullshit! I've gotten way more kills than you, and mine were way sicker. I let my chainsaw on fire, Robbie. You should be taking notes. Oh, fuck. Bros, calm down. Just look at it this way. <laughs> You're both way better murderers than Brian. Oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> he hasn't even gotten one kill this whole game. Lol. It's oh. true. You haven't killed any enemies yet. Mm. You thought you killed a person, but then you realize that you just lulled them to sleep with your gentle, non-threatening punches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't look like a pacifist in front of these two adorable psychopaths. Impress your friends with your raddest technique for indiscriminate okay, murder. I gotta do something bold. Tobacco uh. use? <laughs> it's cause of death in our modern society so beat the shit out of your enemies with cigarettes or, in the words of Theodore Roosevelt, speak softly and tie an angry badger and five loaded guns to the end of a okay, big stick. That one is... Well, no, this isn't for one or the other, I guess. Yeah, so there. these are... What, what are you thinking? Okay, tobacco... Da, 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 da. So what am I just going to... Oh, beat him with cigarettes. And one's da, 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 da. Uh, tie an angry badger. Look, I like the five loaded guns on the end of a big stick. I do like that, that too. That seems pretty fucking... Okay, but I have a soft spot for cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> one of them is the slow route. One of them is the angry badger route. Yeah, Which I'm going to go do? angry badger. I feel like I could knock knock some heads Fingers down. Fingers crossed. That's so, so bold. bold. Oh, fuck yeah. I love dangerous animals, especially when they're tied to sticks and duct taped to guns. That's a 
kind of romantic, Brian. Oh, shit. Well, I did Hot. bring that anal paste. <laughs> you quickly scavenge squirt, the dough squirt. and find all the raw materials you need. You create the unholy combination of stick badger and gun. The ultimate spear of death is born. With the spear in your hand, you are filled with a dark, evil, primal power. You lose consciousness as your body is lost in the trance of battle. You cannot see. You cannot think. <laughs> but you can hear. And all you hear is the rattle of death and cries of a rabid badger and a spurt of exploding heads all around you. Two hours later, hey. Morty the Minotaur is smoking a cigarette right outside the dome. The smell of blood and death mingle with his cigarette fumes. Oh, hey, two characters. Which one do you want to be? Who wants to be who? Uh, I'll be the Minotaur. Okay, I'll... Do you want to be this? Uh, okay, I'll be I don't want to read again. <laughs> Hail and well met, BFF. Are we still on to crash Camp Spooky's Battle Royale? You know I adore ruining their, comer, their summer camaraderie. No, don't go in there, Dimitri. I barely got out with my life, okay? And I can't stand losing you. Morty, oh God. my <laughs> dear cherished shit. BFF, what monster could possibly scare a half-man, half-bull with your strength and girth? <laughs> Brian is in the dome and he was way out of my league, Look. okay? <laughs> I've never seen anything like him who was so scared that I got half chub. And he had this <laughs> awesome weapon. It was like a stick, but way more dangerous than a normal <laughs> stick. I don't know how else to describe it. That's horrible. Brian is truly a terrifying warrior. Come BFF. Let's leave this foul place and take a hot bath together. While Morty and Dimitri are bathing, <laughs> you have an awesome time murdering everyone. You win the battle royale and your friends love you. Sweet. And it turns out the Badger is a licensed accountant. The Badger does your taxes <laughs> for you and you get two fun and one smarts. Yay! Yeah. Let's trade places. Okay. Everyone chooses a color. Red. Blue. Uh, Lavender. Come up with a new soda flavor based on your chosen color. Player show errors based on which flavor sounds most delicious. Oh. Uh, Red Rampage. It's a Mountain Dew flavor used for <laughs> Halo. Okay. Blue Rush. It's like Kool Aid with carbonation. Shit. Uh, <laughs> Lush, luscious Lavender. <laughs> it's a. Uh, <coughs> It's it's basically clearly Canadian with lavender put into it. <laughs> okay, so, so Brian's yeah. going first. I'm going <laughs> second, and I'm not drinking a flower soda, so oh. we're moving on. <laughs> it's like a gin and tonic, but not alcoholic. Actually, I drank a lavender ale, and it was super yeah, good. Yeah, lavender's a nice flavor if you do it right. What? So we should go back. Can we go back? And no, it's <laughs> too late. I've yeah. already been fucked over, apparently. I've been fucked over. All right, so uh, Brian, you are now Who do have, I want to uh, sit with? Yeah, who do you want to sit with? You could sit with Aravi. Oh. You could sit with uh, uh, Dahlia. Who, who's boy that there? little bug weirdo right there? I think, is that the shop? I don't know. We haven't That's not the shop. That's the moth. You can. Uh, I want to sit next to that red demon because he thought I was hot. Damien? Yeah. All right. You look across the campfire and see Damien and Milo playing backgammon as a secret backgammon champion yourself. You have to play the winner. Okay. But as soon as you arrive. Gah! <laughs> wow, flipping the board when you lose. What a surprise. If you just kept playing, you'd get a good uh, you'd get good soon enough. No! I don't want to keep playing. This game is stupid and the board cheated. <laughs> you realize you always uh, you realize you always do this, right? Do what? No, I don't. I always keep things spicy and unpredictable. What do I always do? You're wrong! <laughs> you do <laughs> you do try new things, explore new hobbies, uh, new si new sides of your sorry, I'm really bad at reading this. Uh, but one false move and you're back to the old crime and arson and anger issues shtick. Uh, what's that about, buddy? <laughs> well, I just you know, crimes and arson are kind of my thing, you know, at Spooky High that was pretty much all I did, unless people knew my secret sides. I've already toned that way down at Camp Spooky. What if my reputation suffers? I'm Damien LeVay, bitches. <laughs> Legendary bad boy. But here, there's just generally less crime and arson to do. And also, I know I do a good job at hiding this, but I'm not exactly the best at wilderness survival skills. Uh, you do not do a good job at hiding it. I know I know that. We all know that. You tried to set up a tent using a, a katana. <laughs> exactly. I didn't even stab anyone with it. <clears throat> what if I'm losing my edge? What if people stop liking me? Oh, no. I'm sure they won't. Don't you think people will love you even more when they find out about your secret passion for makeup or your adorable relationship with your dads? <laughs> <laughs> and even if they didn't, who cares? Life's about finding what makes you happy, not what you think will make other people happy. 
In fact, if Camp Spooky Damien already has more oh wait, already has more dimension than Spooky High Damien, imagine what after Camp Spooky Damien will be like. We need to brainstorm your next evolution. Ooh, you love brainstorming and interfering with other people's lives. You know Damien's next move for show. For show. Do you want to pick this tomorrow because the bell went off, Jeff? Yeah, we can do tomorrow. Let's do one more of these. Yeah, okay. let's finish this up tomorrow. Anybody want to do one more of these? Finish our adventure? <laughs> if you can handle my terrible reading. Oh, we yeah. can handle it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow for another round of Monster Camp. Bye.